Hi, today's lesson is how to create a linen fabric effect in Adobe Illustrator. If you don't know what linen fabric is, just a quick um, chat about that. These are examples of some linen fabrics here. And what it is, is it's actually a natural fiber that gets woven and has a very loose kind of weave and natural kind of organic characteristics to the yarn. You can see these little slubby fibers that are a little thicker versus the ones in the um, swatch here that are a little thinner. And that's kind of the way that linen looks, very like organic kind of material. Um, and we are gonna take that linen fabric effect that we're creating as a fabric textile and we are gonna put it in a pleated skirt look like this. So these are just some examples of pleated skirts. So we're gonna take our um, swatch we replicate in Illustrator and put it in our CAD. So how to do that, and here's our tutorial, is how to create a linen fabric. Um, you have to start off with a solid swatch. So just to quickly show you what our fabric's gonna look like when it's rendered in Illustrator, this is the characteristic up close. You really only get to see the, the details of the fabric when you zoom in up close, but you can see that kind of thick and thin look, um, very texturized look of the original fabrics that I showed you a minute ago being rendered in this um, digital swatch. So in order to get that look, you're gonna create um, a swatch of color. So a fill color with no stroke color in your stroke box. And then what you're gonna do is go up to effect and go down to Photoshop effects, artistic, and then go to film green, artistic film green. And then originally we are gonna use this film green in another video, but when you go into this window, cause the filter um, effects open up a brand new window as you can see you're going to go right here under the word sketch there's a little arrow and you're going to go to water paper water paper is this little colored um, icon right here and if your color that you chose like i chose that light khaki solid color swatch um, ends up looking really light and you have a hard time seeing the actual um what i call is like a crosshash look which is like two um lines crossing each other. If you have a hard time seeing it in a lighter color, what you can do is you can start to play with the, the um, little scrolly bars over here on the right hand side, brightness, fiber, length, and contrast. First, I would start with brightness and just see if you lessen the brightness, you can start to see the slightly darker that I get. You can actually start to see some of that little crosshatch look, um, which is the texture that linen has. You can play with contrast also, and I would just take these little scrolly bars and move them over very slightly each time just to see what kind of um, effect you get. Because if you start going really um, fast across the scrolly bar, you might not be able to get to see the, the little subtle effects that are happening that you might actually like with the small increments that you're moving. So you can see that the slight more contrast that I get, you actually start to see that linen texture look happening and then so i would play with you can play with fiber length too um, which just stretches out the little horizontal or vertical texture lines that you see but i usually keep fiber length about like 17 brightness is up to you but i have them at 37 to get the look you see here and for contrast i'm at 90. so play with it until you find your desired look but the goal is to have this kind of textural um, image as you can see here in your fabric swatch or else it will not look like linen once you get the numbers feel you feel good about your numbers you feel good about the visual inside this box just hit okay and then you are going to have this now this swatch came out lighter than my one next to it but you you can still see the little crosshatch look that little visual visual digital texture even in the lighter green swatch but you can also see in the darker one that I did, I think I played with brightness and contrast a little bit more on this one that makes it a little darker. Um, you can see it a little bit more. But um, either way, that's the way you create the look. Um, now if we're going to apply that texture into a body CAD. So you're going to have to do, we, I'm going to put it in our pleat skirt CAD, um, which is part of anybody that's doing my um, class assignment. You're gonna take your um, pleated skirt that you did in black and white, and this applies for any CAD, but I'm just using pleated skirt as an example. You're gonna take that front view and you're gonna do an object ungroup. You gotta ungroup the CAD um, to get just the shape only without the pleats and the stitching. So I'm gonna move over here. You're gonna ungroup the back view as well, um, but I'm gonna to move to the next step. So basically what you're gonna have is a CAD 
with just your waistband, which I separated. So I just, once I ungrouped, I took the waistband and moved it up away from the body cad for a second. So I just took my black arrow, pushed it up. Um, and then you're gonna have your body shape here. But you can notice that I separated out my, when I ungrouped the cad, I pulled apart the skirt piece and the waistband piece. That's what I did to what you see over here. So I'm gonna ungroup that, I mean undo that for a second. But that's what I did to get here. So you're gonna have one copy that is the waistband and the skirt shape only. Again, no stitching, no pleat lines. That's why we need to ungroup so we can pull it apart. And then what you're gonna do is make a copy and paste, Command C, Command V to copy and paste or edit, copy, edit, paste. Um, and you're gonna make a second copy. So let me just do this as if I'm doing it from scratch. So you're gonna have two copies, one with just a black stroke outline and one with, um, we're gonna actually change to a fill color. So here's my two copies. One, we're gonna, you can see, I'm gonna click on it with the black arrow and I'm gonna get rid of the white color in the fill box and just keep the black stroke outline. So remove the white color, color by clicking on the no fill box and then do the same thing for your skirt shape. I already actually had no color in there, but if you click on them individually and you see a white color chip in your fill box, make sure you change no fill. And then what you're gonna do um, here is we're actually gonna switch, um, we're gonna actually, sorry, we're gonna do a no fill color in our stroke box and a fill color in our fill box. I did, forgot, it's just opposite. So we're gonna have one skirt shape and waistband shape with a fill color and no stroke. And then we're gonna have one skirt shape with a stroke color and a no fill. So that's your two copies, one with this black stroke outline with no fill and then one with a fill color with no stroke outline. Now pick a color, whatever color you want. Um, you know, you can double click on the color picker, pick a window, pick a color from anywhere in here and pick from the inside here and hit okay. Or you can go to window swatches and there's a lot of default colors here that you can pick. But remember, it's only a fill color. Once you have a color, inside your one copy of your skirt shape, you're gonna to go to effect, just like we did on the original swatch, effect, Photoshop effects, artistic, and you're gonna go down the film grain. So just like we did on the original swatch, we're gonna go down in this window down to sketch, watercolor, I mean water paper, sorry. And then we're gonna play with our brightness because now you can see the fabric swatch is in my skirt shape, but now you're gonna play with brightness just to start to see and contrast just to start to get the effect that you want where you can actually see the fabric texture really well. Um, so if yours starts to look really light like this, you obviously can't see the linen texture. So let's make sure we work with the brightness and contrast to make sure that, that texture really shows before you hit okay. Okay, so now you can see when I zoom in, and you might not see it for if you're too far away, but if you zoom in, you definitely will see that fabric texture in there now. So if you notice, I don't have a black stroke outline around my CAD and that's not a good thing because all body CAD should have a black stroke outline on it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is now just take those two copies, that I ha that one copy and bring it together with my black um, stroke outline copy. So bring it over, carry it with the black arrow and then just line it up as best as you can, but don't worry if you're not accurate because we're gonna actually then take that filled in um, linen texture, skirt shape, and waistband shape. We're gonna do an object arrange, send the back. And then here's a great thing that just happened. I'm so glad this happened because this waistband was the one that had the black stroke outline. And I told you originally we should have a separate um, copy without a fill. I forgot to take the fill out of that, fill color out of that waistband. So this is good that this happened. So now that I see that, I can't see the red linen fabric coming through because the white color is covering it up. So let's click on our no fill and change that. And if you were worried about, you know, is everything lined up perfectly, let's just take our black arrow, hover over um, both copies of our uh, waistband and let's go to window align. And we're gonna align to vertical align top and vertical align to the side. That way, because remember this is two copies. Remember there's a linen fabric and a waistband um, shape for both of our waistbands. And the same thing for our skirt. We're gonna just hover over with the black arrow, there's the skirt shape, and we'll do window align again to the top and again to the side. And now you know that your two copies that you had um, one separated are now aligned perfectly. 
So once you have that, you have the two shapes, we need to bring the waistband down to meet the skirt shape again. So let's take the waistband, hover over it with the black arrow, and we're gonna bring it down to meet our skirt waist um, seam and just line it up so it's in its right place because those two pieces get sewn together and here's your waist seam. So they need to be not separated. I only separated it when I needed to fill in the linen texture. So that's my skirt shape, but then you're saying, oh, well, wait a minute, we're doing the pleated skirt. So we need to now take all of our pleats. Um, and luckily, if you did this in the first part, when you designed this black and white CAD, you should have all your pleats already grouped together. So hopefully you have that. If you don't, you hover over the, the pleats. I separated again from my ungrouped CAD. I separated out. Um, my body shape and then I object grouped over both my pleats and my stitching and I did an object group and that's what gave me what you see here um, because now I need to take all those details and basically all it is is a waistband stitching a stitching at the hem and all my pleats and I need to copy and paste them now over into my linen CAD so I had a copy already here let me just bring that back I had a copy already here ready to go so I'm just gonna bring that over to my body CAD and I'm gonna, before I let go of the blue, it's highlighted in blue and you can see that right now. Before I let go and release, I'm gonna make sure that I do an object arrange bring to front on those details because sometimes when you bring it together, it might hide underneath the linen filled um, skirt CAD and you don't want the pleats and everything to show up behind it. Now, I'm gonna scale this a little bit. For some reason, I guess my skirt shape wasn't lining up, but your stitching and your pleats and everything should be in the same place as it was on the black and white CAD. So you should have a single needle stitch above the waistband seam. You should have this little zigzag stitch here at the hem. What I will tell you about the stitching though, is if depending on the color you used in your linen swatch, you may have to increase the thickness of the stroke line in your stitching because you might have a hard time seeing it unless you zoom in. So sometimes what I do is I click on it with the black arrow and I go to window stroke, window stroke. If you don't have it open, that's where you go. And this is the box. And I would maybe increase my stroke weight if your color of your linen is pretty dark and you're having a hard time seeing the stitching pop off of it, maybe increase the stroke weight to 0 0.5 would be my recommendation. If you don't have that issue and you are seeing the stitching just fine, don't worry about changing the stroke weight. But if you're having a hard time seeing it because of the color that you chose, I would just take it up to 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and that'll just thicken it up a little bit more and you'll have an easier time seeing it on top of your body cab. So there's my front view. And then the only, literally the only difference between the front and the back view, um, let's go back over to our black and white sketch, is the back and the back view of the skirt, of this pleated skirt only has a zipper and a center back seam. So other than that, the front and back view are exactly the same. So the easy thing that I would suggest that you do to complete your back view of this linen um, skirt is you just copy, you group the zipper the little zipper slider, the seam, and the little bar tack, and you do an object group of those three things, right? And then when you ungroup the back view, all you have to do is pull off this section right here because it's object grouped. And now you can copy and paste the front view of your linen um, filled body CAD. And now all you have to do to get a back view is take the center, the little grouped um, zipper and center back seam and bar tack. And all you have to do is bring it over and line it up directly in the center from the top of the waistband down to the hem. And now in two seconds, you have your back view. So that makes it so much easier. So then again, when you're done your front and back view of any sketch um, and you're all ready to go, you want to take the black arrow, hover over your whole swat, um, your whole body CAD and do an object group for the front view and do the same thing for the back view, group them separately, and then you can add them to your CAD template. And that completes our linen fabric lesson.